working through all the videos of the Singer CE677. But here we're going to help you master the built-in needle threader. Now needle threaders pretty much work all the same. So even if you have a different machine, these tips are going to help you be super successful. But before I show you exactly step by step of how I teach my students to master this needle threader, do keep in mind that there is the smallest little piece of metal that is a hook coming from the back of the needle towards you. Now if you were that small to get through that teeny tiny eye, there is a risk that eventually that small little piece of metal can get bent, pushed to the side, or um, get kind of lifted or moved around, and then it doesn't line up. And that would need to be probably adjusted by a local soy machine repair center, and it is common. Sometimes you can adjust it back to the center yourself, but just note that if you're trying all the tricks that I'm showing you and it's still not working, that little hook might not be coming through the eye of the needle. Do keep in mind, you wanna make sure your needle is in the highest position. So by touching your needle up, down button, it puts the needle where it needs to be. Second, a little trick is right now the foot is up and the thread is pulling through fairly easily. To make it a little bit more resistance and to give you a little bit more room, lower the presser foot. So see how the thread is now tight, it's almost bending the needle? That is gonna give you an idea of how the resistance is. Plus we have a little bit more room. As we bring this down, instead of bringing it all the way down and trying to get your hands in here to hook under this first place, I like to recommend that as you bring it down, you stop about halfway and hook the thread on the way down. Next, bring the needle threader all the way down and then all the way down again. Did you see that last little movement? That brought the whole needle threader head completely around the needle and that little hook through the center of the eye so that when I bring the thread to the right and I slide it in the little groove. Now I need to push it in all the way, but I'm not pushing my thread to the back of the machine. I often will say to just lift straight up. When you release both the needle threader and gently let the thread get pulled out of your fingers, you will then have a loop behind the needle that you can pull through. As you pull it all the way through, you can lift up the presser foot, slide it down the middle, and begin to sew. So let's do that one more time. I'm gonna unthread the needle, lower the foot. Isn't that nice, the little extra room? So bring the needle threader halfway down, bring it all the way down and around the needle, Bring the thread across in the little arms, lifting up. I'm holding on just tight enough that when I pull through, it will pull the thread through the eye of the needle. Give yourself a little patience as you work to master your needle threader and it will save you time from here on out. I hope you'll check out all the videos that we're doing on this Singer machine. And if you have another machine, they are very similar from model to model these days. And I guarantee that if this video is helpful, you're gonna find great tips and hints in all the videos that we are creating for this Singer CE 677.